So if you guys remember, a while back I covered something called Freedom GPT. It was like this uncensored version of ChatGPT that also had access to other language models. So the owner of Freedom GPT contacted me and asked me if I wanted to do a video on what they have called Phone Call GPT. So this is an AI bot that can make phone calls for you. So yes, he did sponsor today's video on Phone Call GPT, but I want you to know that I would never make a video about something that I don't think is relevant to you guys and also freedom GPT is not allowed to review this video at all before it's posted so it's all my own thoughts all my own beliefs let's take a dive into phone call GPT it's available on the freedom GPT website which has all of its previous features a few different large language models the open AI ones dolly 3 a pay-as-you-go system which I think some people definitely prefer over a subscription system and as you can see they got uh, tags here for what's uncensored and what is censored just to let you know now, Phone Call GPT is pretty cool. It's an AI that makes phone calls for you. It's a smart problem-solving AI that does very natural-sounding conversations. As you can see, you could just input a phone number in here to call. All you need is an account and the credits to do so. As long as it automatically doesn't just go to voicemail, it will start talking to someone. You can also add as many phone numbers as you want so it can do simultaneous calls at once. And you might be thinking right now, well, you know, this sounds like it could be doing some bad things like robocalls are already bad enough and yes I agree I don't want any more robocalls however they do have this warning at the bottom saying you are only permitted to use phone call GPT in a lawful manner, so you can't be doing anything that is illegal with this. However, it's also accessible, I think, in a lot of very positive ways as well. And we'll get into all of those use cases, but for now I'm going to show you the rest of the user interface. Enter a prompt, so this is the identity of the AI, who's the AI going to be talking to, and what is the goal of the conversation. So we're prompting it like we would prompt chat GPT. This is not the transcript that the AI is going to read off of, that's going to be generated all automatically for you which is pretty nice so we'll say you are Matthew you are calling to place an order for a large cheese pizza it will be for pick up you will be calling freedom pizza on South Street for example so that's our that's our little prompt here you can also just generate a random prompt which I don't know why you would want to do that other than just testing this thing out they've got a conversation starter we can change that to say, hey, is this Freedom Pizza? Sure, that'll work in this situation. And then we can select any number of voices here, and they have quite a few. I think we should just go for an American male, a young American male. That's what I am. What's the voice sound like here? The scent of a familiar cologne triggers memories of a loved one's presence. If I... if I can't tell that sounds like 11 labs either way it sounds like a pretty realistic voice okay and with that we are going to place a phone call here i'm going to type my personal phone number up here and obviously you guys can't see what that is but in reality you know this would be the pizza shop you want to order a pizza from and oh yeah by the way you can as we mentioned earlier record the phone call if you so desire to see how things transpired probably useful in a lot of use cases while this technology is still new although you have to enable this disclaimer to say that the phone call is being recorded which might freak the pizza guy out <laughs> okay anyways I'm gonna pull my phone up here let's go ahead and place the phone call as you can see I am getting a phone call hey is this freedom pizza yes this is freedom pizza great I'd like to place an order for a large cheese pizza for pickup can you assist me with that Oh, yes, I absolutely can. You want anything on the side? Any drinks? Any fries? Certainly. Along with the large cheese pizza, I'd like to add a side of fries and a couple of drinks. Okay, what, what kind of drinks do you want? I'll have a Coke and a Sprite, please. Thank you. Okay, that's that's going to do it for you. The, your total will be thirty-two eighty-eight. dollars um, What's the name Complete for... Complete my order. Uh, sorry, uh, what's the name for the order? The, to the name for the order is Matthew. Okay, thank you. Um, and like I said, your total will be uh, 3288. Got it. Thank you. I'll come by for pickup soon. Uh, sorry, uh, what's the name for the order? The name for the order is Matthew. Okay, thank you. Um, and like I said, your total will be uh, 3288. Got it. Thank you. I'll come by for pickup soon. Okay, you have a good day, sir. Thank you. You have a great day, too. And it's still on the phone call? Is it going to hang up? I'm sorry, please repeat your... No worries. We're still on the call. 
It is not hanging up. Okay, so the auto hang up was not working. So evaluation time there. It was able to order a large cheese pizza, but I think you can see there was an obvious problem with that one. <laughs> we, we called up Freedom Pizza. It was able to order the large cheese pizza, which is good. You want anything on the side? Any drink? Any fries? And it just goes, certainly, along with the large cheese pizza, I'd like that a side of fries and a couple of drinks. So... In reality, we probably don't want it to make that assumption, so we have to prompt it better. You have to be careful when you prompt these things clearly. Hey, but it got a Coke and a Sprite, which is pretty good. I think that, honestly, this thing could probably do with better voice-to-text transcription model. I don't know what model it's using. However, it seems to have a lot of these issues with, like, uncertainty in the speaking, which can be a problem on the phone. So the only problem also that we saw is that it wouldn't automatically hang up the phone call, which is what we wanted. I don't think that's a huge deal, though. You know, usually the other person will just hang up the phone naturally anyways. It was able to get us there, though. It can absolutely order you a pizza. We just need to prompt it a little bit better. So let's try something very similar and we'll, we'll give it more instructions, much more clear instructions. Okay, so here's another theoretical scenario. You are Matthew. You are calling to place an order for a 40-foot tall statue of a lemon. It will be for pickup. You are calling. 835 production av if asked for anything extra please deny it we are only picking up the lemon statue <laughs> conversation starter we'll just set it to hey that's it all right i want to know what this audio recording and disclaimer is like too so we'll just place the phone call our phone call is coming in this call is recorded for quality assurance your participation implies consent thank you hey hey how's it going uh what are you calling about hi there I'm calling to place an order for a 40-foot tall statue of a lemon. I'd like to pick it up from your location. Is that possible? Uh, uh yes, that is absolutely possible. Um, do you know what where we are? Do you know where we're... Yes, I am aware of the location. The pickup address for the statue will be 835 Production Avenue. Yep, that's that is correct. So, what time are you thinking? Sure. When will the statue be ready for pickup? Uh, the stash will be ready probably in uh, three days or so. All right, sounds good. I'll plan to pick up the statue in three days then. Thank you. Yeah, that's that's good. Um, Do you want the extra uh, lime juice fountain that goes with the statue? No, thank you. I only need the 40-foot tall lemon statue for pickup. I don't require any extra items like an inaudible juice fountain. Okay, yeah, that's, that's, that is okay. Uh, you have a, you have a good day, sir. Your stats will be ready in three days. Thank you. I appreciate it. Have a great day, too, and I look forward to picking up the lemon statue in three days. Okay, bye. Goodbye. Have a great- Hey, it hung up automatically that time. Perfect. That one wasn't so bad at all. Honestly, I was impressed with that one. It looks like prompting it is definitely uh, very important. So the quality assurance one is not bad, honestly. I think that's a pretty decent little reminder. So the transcript went pretty well. You know, we're saying, hey, you know, trying to pick up a lemon statue. Aware of the location, it said that perfectly, which I was pretty impressed with. That is correct. Uh, what time are you thinking? When will it be ready for pickup? I like that question. So I said three days or so. Again, the transcription here from my voice is not too great so i'd like to see that maybe improved in the future with this pick up the statue in three days and when asked for extra items since we prompted it correctly it said no i only need the 40 foot tall lemon statue for pickup i don't require <laughs> extra items like inaudible so maybe it could do something with this where if it does get inaudible text it could just you know not say inaudible and just say juice fountain for example so that's maybe something that would need to be tweaked in the future not bad though I, it hung up automatically overall i think that went better than the the pizza call. I think we do have to talk a little bit about the the sort of elephant in the room, which is the fact that this thing, the text to speech sounds realistic. It sounds like a real person, except for the fact that its emotions are all over the place. It sounds like a real person who has like severe emotional problems. His emotions are just going up and down all over the place, but it could just be the voice that we're using. So maybe we'll go for an American female. Try that out. All right. I'm going to try calling one of my friends. It's interesting because this is almost like a borderline automatic agent. Like in this scenario where we're going to be tasking the AI with receiving some information for me. So, I mean, hooking this up to like a chat GPT type of interface, you could just get a little chatbot reply saying like, hey, Jack responded to you. So we're going to go ahead and send this phone call off and just watch the transcript. All right, let's see how this goes. Oh, it's in progress. Uncertain. All right, my friend's getting a little scared. 
He's texting me. He's like, what the hell is going on? Let's see if it auto hangs up. I guess we now could be the person who's hanging up. So that works pretty good. I mean, it, it called on my behalf. And then once it got the information, like obviously it didn't understand this. So it's like, oh, I didn't quite catch that. And it gives the answer and it says, got it. <laughs> my friend goes, I believed it was a real person for a second. The second sentence it hiccuped. Yeah. Okay. So honestly though, that impressed me. That impressed me. You'll definitely spook like random people you might call. They'll, they'll definitely pick up that it's an AI, but they might just play a long... I don't know if it'll creep them out at first. People definitely aren't used to just talking to AI bots. You can report bugs or suggest improvements. They definitely want to improve this system. I think it's pretty good though. It's nice and snappy and quick and easy to use. Need a custom solution. Let's integrate full power of phone call GPT into your business or organization. I can see that for sure. Automate inbound and outbound calls, scheduling payments and much more. Starting at a thousand a month. Yeah, for a business situation, I can see a thousand dollars a month might not be so bad. Think about it. That is definitely a lot less than just paying one phone call person, one assistant. And I mean, obviously job displacement is a huge issue, but in terms of just pricing, looking at this from a, a pricing standpoint, not bad for the product from an enterprise viewpoint. So they've also got leads here, and this is essentially like a sales pipeline. Apparently they must have uh, been hooked up with them where you can get some different contact information for advertising, phone call advertising. So now I want to discuss some potential use cases like what is this actually going to be used for? Well, obviously on the enterprise level, it can be used for customer service, to place appointments, or to call people back to notify them that they might have an appointment, etc., etc. A lot of use cases from the business enterprise standpoint, just, you know, some of that monotonous calling work that has to be done. From a personal standpoint, I think that things get a little bit more on the interesting side my first thoughts go to people who might be impaired in some way. Let's say you're mute and you actually can't speak. This could be a godsend for you. Ordering food, just contacting people for business, etc., etc. It really enables you to reach out to people where it's only possible through a phone call. Let's say also you might have extreme social anxiety. This also works great in that use case. Although I think a lot of people would debate that, you know, technology is making people less social and we should try to be more social. So maybe... That's not the correct healthy use case for it, but still, I can see a lot of people that are willing to pay just to not have to talk to people on the phone. I know people who would pay just to not talk to people on the phone. Or even if you're just busy and you don't have time to call someone, I, I can see someone who, you know, is maybe in a meeting or maybe they're driving down the road and they can just instruct an AI bot to make a phone call for them. As I mentioned earlier, this thing hooked up to like a chat GPT interface I think could be really cool where you essentially have this autonomous bot that can just go reach out and make phone calls and gather information for you. Go ahead and make a, a phone call to this person, to so-and-so, to this address, and uh, this is what I need. Just specify it and it can go out and do that. I mean, I think we're going to see that very, very soon. In the next year or so, probably, that will be integrated into your phone, potentially. This is a really, really cool peel back into the near future of phone calls with AI. Now, how well does phone call GPT work in this specific state? I think it honestly works pretty darn well. Definitely could order you some food as long as you prompt it carefully and correctly. Definitely could get information from friends or businesses. You know, what time do you guys close, etc. I think more complex and nuanced stuff it might struggle with where it requires information directly from the person. Again, that's where that chat interface I think could help out a lot where we can say, oh, the chatbot starts talking to us when it needs extra information like, oh, what day are we picking this up? What day are you free to pick this up? And you type an answer in. So, so let's talk about pricing really quick with this. I want to touch on that. Obviously, the enterprise, a thousand bucks a month. I honestly think that's pretty fair for how powerful this could be. 75 credits per call. And again, they do have a pay as you go system. So the cheapest here is you buy a thousand credits for 10 bucks. That's about a cent per credit. So for 10 bucks, you get seven and a half calls. I honestly don't think that's too bad considering how antisocial people can be and how much they would be willing to use this just to get information and avoid talking to people on the phone. Obviously, if you you buy more credits in bulk, you can save money. I really can see people paying for this for sure. Let me know if it's something that you would pay for. Personally, I don't mind talking to people on the phone. The only thing I could see this really being used for in my scenario
scenario is either to gather information when I just don't have the time to do so myself, or obviously from a business standpoint, this could absolutely be huge. I think they have a few tweaks that I mentioned earlier in the video that they need to improve on, but other than that, it's pretty rock solid. Maybe fine tune the robo voice to be a little bit less expressive. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, but thank you Freedom GPT for sponsoring today's video. Check out Phone Call GPT down in the description. I think it's pretty awesome. It's the first of its kind that I've been able to test out. And honestly, I think the pricing is pretty darn good for what you're getting. Have a good one. See you in the next video.